everyday reality is a very inadequate, or very inadequate is the wrong word, it's a very partial view of the universe, that everyday reality is very rich, but it's only a very small part of what's out there. In the standard model, uh, the, the fundamental building blocks are usually described as being particles, but really, when you examine what the equations look like, the fundamental building blocks are not particles. The fundamental building blocks are things we call fields, which are entities that fill all space, that have a life of their own, and that can create and destroy particles. Particles are kind of disturbances in these fields. And this is not just a metaphor, this is what the equation, you know, this is really how the equations work. Uh, so since they fill all space and are the primary reality, uh, it's really tempting to say and not misleading to say that it's space itself that's the primary reality. They are space. You can't say that there's space that's different without this stuff. The space has this stuff. That's part of what space is. A lot of what we see is kind of epiphenomena, small <laughs> ripples on a much more dynamic uh, reality that we don't sense directly, but that we use in our deepest description of nature that, that our equations tell us is underneath it. I really love what William Blake said. He said, if, if, the, if the doors of perception could be cleansed, then man would see the world as it is, infinite. So I'm in the business of cleansing <laughs> the doors of perception because uh, it's, it's very, tr I mean, it's much truer than he could have possibly have known that our perception of the world is exceedingly partial. There's so much more to the world than, than we were evolved to perceive. But fortunately, we have our minds <laughs> and our imaginations, which aren't subject to those limits. And so by using our imagination and our minds and trying to do justice to reality as it really is, we can cleanse the doors of perception and see much more.